Hi, my name is Sam Dhaneshekaran and welcome to this series of database lessons. In this video, I will talk about what is data consistency. In the previous video, we talked about, I talked about uh, what is data concurrency, which is basically allowing multiple users to access the data, right? But then, when multiple users are accessing the data, the database management system should allow it in a way that the data doesn't get corrupted meaning that when one user is halfway through modifying some value it should not allow other user to go and modify it right so it has to have a set of rules and checks to make sure the data doesn't get corrupted or go invalid. So that's called the, the ability to prevent that is called keeping the data consistent and that is a very important feature for an RDBMS or DBMS system to have. So in the previous video I talked about data concurrency which is an important feature and data consistency in this video which is an important feature so let me give you an example let's take the same example as the previous video right so when uh, this user is entering Tom right and this user should not be deleting it right so for example uh, let's say around uh, 10 o'clock a.m. this user is entering the value Tom PHL let's say uh, we are only up to here okay we still haven't entered this still haven't entered this and then uh, this user uh, this officer gets a call um, saying that you know uh, there was uh, a passenger called Tom can you go and delete his reservation he cancelled it so if this user goes and delete deletes data uh, for Tom it should not allow this user to delete this data because this data is only halfway through right and this is for deleting some other user who already booked but this user is a new user who is uh, I mean, this passenger is a new passenger and this instruction she got uh, might be for some other passenger right who already who called in and cancelled the reservation so now when this uh, uh, officer goes and deletes Tom it should not delete this new record which is still being populated right so the database management system uses logs locking uh, uh, it locks to maintain uh, the data consistency it's called locking mechanism right so basically when it comes to database even if one value is wrong that could make the entire uh, data set in the table invalid so uh, these days the database systems are uh, very good in uh, maintaining the the consistency of data so the process of keeping the data valid that's called data consistency we will talk about the locking mechanism and everything in uh, subsequent videos thank you